Today, I am so excited to share how I shop sustainably and ethically and also on a pretty tight budget. <laughs> Hello, my name's Katie. If it's your first time here, welcome to My Epic Motherhood. I am a mom of six and I've been married for 13 years. I was born in Texas, but I lived overseas for 10 years and now I'm back in Texas and make lifestyle videos here on YouTube. If that sounds like your thing, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button down below. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, go ahead and hit the little bell right next to it. Today, I am so excited to share how I shop sustainably and ethically and also on a pretty tight budget. <laughs> First of all, I wanna explain what I mean by sustainable and ethical. If you clicked on this video, you probably already have an idea, but let me just give you my definition of it. When I talk about sustainable shopping, I'm talking about relooking at the entire way in which we shop for things. Nowadays, there is a massive consumer market, specifically in clothes. Places like Old Navy and Walmart have new styles practically every week. I have always appreciated the variety available at these kinds of stores for such a cheap price. <laughs> but last year, when I watched the documentary called True Cost, my eyes were really open to the way that the whole industry works. Basically, to keep up with demand, manufacturers go to places that have relaxed labor laws and they pay people pennies a day to sew clothes for them. The work environment is awful and these people don't even make enough money to feed their families. I specifically remember this part in the documentary where they asked someone who worked at the factory what she would say to the people who wore the clothes if she could. And she said, that part of the film really affected me and it's changed my philosophy on how I shop. Now, because there is a lot more awareness about this issue, a lot of brands are popping up that are sustainable and ethical and do support everyone who's involved in the manufacturing process. And I love that. But that does come with a higher price tag and often I can't afford that. But I have figured out a way to shop that doesn't support fast fashion and doesn't feed that industry and is also affordable for me on my budget. And here's how. Buy used. Buying used is such a good way to shop responsibly. First, it stops feeding the market, so I remove myself as a consumer from the companies that I don't want to support. Second, it's reusing clothes that are already in circulation, so you're keeping those items out of the landfills because yes, that is where they go. Also, the ocean. Third, if you're buying directly from another person, your money is going directly to that person instead of like a big company like Walmart or something. So when I need a new pair of jeans or my kids grow into a different size, which seems to happen like every 13 minutes, I try and buy it used. I actually love going to Goodwill and Salvation Army. It's like a treasure hunt. In fact, my biggest challenge is not picking up things that I like but don't actually need. I will also look at kids resale shops for kids clothes or the large expo type sales that happen a few times a year where people get together and sell their used baby clothes and gear and stuff like that. eBay is a place where I look if I'm trying to find something very specific, but eBay does have a lot of new items from third party sellers. So um, the way that you can actually find used things on eBay is if you go on the left-hand side of the screen, you can sort the items by pre-used and that's gonna give you the items that are actually being listed by people 
who are selling them after they've used them. Another place that I've bought a lot of stuff is Facebook Marketplace. Sometimes people can be kind of rude, but overall I've had really good experiences and found a lot of things that were very, very helpful to me. Oh, and I also buy things from my friends' shops. So I have several friends who resell used clothing and I love buying from them. It's a little bit more expensive than if I go to the resale shop myself. However, I'm paying them for their time to go sort through all the stuff and find those treasures that are buried at at the thrift store and then I'm also paying for them to ship it to my house so to me it's worth a little bit of extra money plus it's supporting them in their small business supporting their families and that makes me really happy number two free stuff all right this seems obvious but hear me out don't look down on the stuff that people are giving away for free giveaway bags are the bomb when I have friends that have stuff they're gonna donate and they ask if I want it I say yes and you should too. I also really love driving around on bulk trash day. You can find some really cool stuff on the curb. But the best place to get free stuff that I have recently discovered in my area are the buy nothing groups on Facebook. You can only join one for your area, of course, but it is an amazing community. I have gotten rid of some great items that I just didn't have any need for anymore. And I have found some of the most amazing things. People are so generous and sweet. And it's really a community of people trying to reuse, create less waste, and share with our physical community around us. It's a beautiful thing. Number three, just don't buy it. This is where my minimalism self comes in and starts preaching at y'all. So often we walk through Target and just randomly buy things because they're super cute. It's like a meme, y'all. Guys, stop. Stop. You're cluttering up your house and you're supporting a consumer industry. Before you buy something, stop and evaluate whether you really need it or whether you would really use it. I really struggle with this at thrift stores and sometimes I have to have literal conversations with myself to talk myself down from buying another coffee mug. When I say that out loud, I kind of sound like a crazy person. <laughs> but so often, I just don't need it. I won't use it, and I end up giving it away anyway. I'm starting to get better at it. It's something that I'm working towards. It's a goal, and it's something to aim for. Buy less. Okay, I did want to mention there are a few things that I buy new, like underwear. Or sometimes I just can't find exactly what I need used. And so I'll buy it on Amazon or go to Walmart or go to Target. And guess what? I don't feel guilty about it because while it is important to me to shop sustainably, it's not always possible and that's okay. Being more mindful of how I shop is a process. I enjoy the challenge of trying to shop responsibly, but I don't beat myself up if I can't do it perfectly. Life is not perfect and we have to have balance. So I really wanna know how do you guys shop? Please share your tips and tricks in the comments below. I would love to hear any ideas that you have about shopping sustainably and ethically. I would also love to hear if you have any brands that you recommend uh, that are sustainable and ethically sourced. And I would love to hear what your favorite thrifted finds are that were just exactly what you needed. I hope that this video was helpful for you and if it was, give me a thumbs up that really helps other people to find my channel. I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.